pages 9 through 16 of The Baby's Own Aesop by Walter Crane Recorded for LibriVox by Dennis Sayers in Modesto, California Fall 2006 Turn to page 9 The Fox and the Grapes This fox has a longing for grapes. He jumps, but the bunch still escapes. So he goes away sour, and, tis said to this hour, declares that he's no taste for grapes. Moral. The grapes of disappointment are always sour. Turn to page 10. THE COCK AND THE PEARL A rooster, while scratching for grain, found a pearl. He just paused to explain that a jewel's no good to a fowl wanting food, and then kicked it aside with disdain. Moral, if he ask bread, Will ye give him a stone? The wolf and the lamb. A wolf, wanting lamb for his dinner, growled out, Lamb, you wronged me, you sinner. Bleated lamb, Nay, not true, answered wolf. Then twas you, you or lamb, you will serve for my dinner. Moral. Fraud and violence have no scruples. Turn to page 11. The Wind and the Sun The wind and the sun had a bet. The wayfarer's cloak, which should get. Blew the wind, the cloak clung. Shone the sun, the cloak flung. Showed the sun had the best of it yet. Moral, true strength is not bluster. Turn to page 12. King Log and King Stork The frogs prayed to Jove for a king. Not a log, but a livelier thing. Jove sent them a stork who did royal work, for he gobbled them up did their king. Moral, don't have kings. Turn to page 13. The Frightened Lion A bullfrog, according to rule, sat a croak in his usual pool, and he laughed in his heart, as a lion did start in a fright from the brink of the pool. Moral, imaginary fears are the worst. Turn to page 14. The Mouse and the Lion A poor thing the mouse was, and yet... When the lion got caught in a net, all his strength was no use. Twas the poor little mouse who nibbled him out of the net. Moral. Small causes may produce great results. The married mouse. So the mouse had Miss Lion for bride. Very great was his joy and his pride. But it chanced that she put on her husband her foot, and the weight 
was too much. So he died. Moral. One may be too ambitious. Turn to page 15. Hercules and the Wagoner When the god saw the Wagoner kneel, crying, Hercules, lift me my wheel from the mud where tis stuck. He laughed. <laughs> no such luck. Set your shoulder yourself to the wheel. Moral. The gods help those who help themselves. Turn to page 16. The Lazy Housemaids Two maids killed the rooster, whose warning awoke them too soon every morning. But small were their gains, for their mistress took pains to rouse them herself without warning. Moral Laziness is its own punishment. End of pages 9 through 16. This work is in the public domain. Pages 17 through 24 of Baby's Own Aesop by Walter Crane Read by Dennis Sayers in Modesto, California for LibriVox Turn to page 17 The Snake and the File A snake in a fix Tried a file for a dinner. Tis not worth your while, said the steel. Don't mistake. I'm accustomed to take. To gives not the way of a file. Moral. We may meet our match. THE FOX AND THE CROW Said sly fox to the crow with the cheese, Let me hear your sweet voice. Now do please. And this crow, being weak, Cawed the bit from her beak. Music! Charms, said the fox, and here's cheese. Moral. Beware of flatterers. Turn to page 18. The Dog in the Manger A cow sought a mouthful of hay. But a dog in the manger there lay, And he snapped out, How now? When, most mildly, The cow adventured a morsel to pray. Moral. Don't be selfish. The Frog and the Bull Said the frog, quite puffed up to the eyes, Was this bull about me as to size? Rather bigger, frog brother. Puff, puff, said the other. A frog is a bull, if he tries. Moral. Brag is not always belief. Turn to page 19. The Fox and 
THE CRANE You have heard how Sir Fox treated Crane with soup in a plate. When again they dined, a long bottle just suited Crane's throttle. And Sir Fox licked the outside in vain. Moral There are games that two can play at. Turn to page twenty. Horse and Man When the horse first took man on his back to help him the stag to attack, how little his dread as the enemy fled. Man would make him his slave and his hack. Moral Advantages may be dearly bought. THE ASS AND THE ENEMY Get up, let us flee from the foe, said the man. But the ass said, Why so? Will they double my load, or my blows? Then, by goad and by stirrup, I've no cause to go. Moral Your reasons are not mine. Turn to page 21. THE FOX AND THE MOSQUITOES Being plagued with mosquitoes one day, said old fox, Pray, don't send them away, for a hungrier swarm would work me more harm. I had rather the full ones should stay. Moral There were politicians in Aesop's time. THE FOX AND THE LION the first time the fox had a sight of the lion, he most died of fright. When he next met his eye, fox felt just a bit shy, but the next quite of ease and polite. Moral, familiarity destroys fear. Turn to page 22. THE MISER AND HIS GOLD He buried his gold in a hole. One saw, and the treasure he stole. Said another, What matter? Don't raise such a clatter. You can still go and sit by the hole. MORAL Use alone gives value. THE GOLDEN EGGS A golden egg, one every day, That simpleton's goose used to lay. So he killed the poor thing, Swifter fortune to bring, And dined off his fortune that day. Moral. Greed overreaches itself. Turn to page 23. The man that pleased none. Through the town this good man and his son strove to ride as to please every one. Self, son, or both tried. Then the ass had a ride. While the world at their efforts poked fun. Moral, you cannot hope to please all. 
don't try. Turn to page 24. The Oak and the Reeds Giant Oak, in his strength, and his scorn of the winds, By the roots was up torn, But slim reeds at his side, The fierce gale did outride, Since by bending the burden was born. Moral Bend, not break. THE FIR AND THE BRAMBLE The fir-tree looked down on the bramble. Poor thing, only able to scramble about on the ground. Just then an axe sound made the fir wish himself but a bramble. Moral, pride of place has its disadvantages. End of pages 17 through 24 This recording is in the public domain. This audiobook is brought to you by Full Audiobooks. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon if you love audiobooks. Pages 25 through 32 of Baby's Own Aesop by Walter Crane Recorded by Dennis Sayers for LibriVox in Modesto, California, Fall 2006 Turn to page 25 THE TREES AND THE WOODMAN The trees ask of man what he lacks. One bit, just to handle my axe. All he asks, well and good, but he cuts down the wood, so well does he handle his axe. Moral, give me an inch, and I'll take an L. Turn to page 26. THE HEART AND THE VINE A heart by the hunters pursued, safely hid in a vine, till he chewed the sweet tender green, and, through shaking leaves seen, he was slain by his ingratitude, Moral, spare your benefactors. Turn to page 27. The Man and the Snake In pity he brought the poor snake to be warmed at his fire. A mistake, for the ungrateful thing wife and children would sting. I have known some as bad. As the snake. Moral, beware how you entertain traitors. Turn to page twenty eight. The fox and the mask. A fox with his foot on a mask thus took the fair semblance to task. You're a real handsome face, but what part of your case are your brains in, good sir, let me ask? Moral, masts are the faces of shams. Turn to page 29. The Ass in the Lion Skin What pranks I shall play! thought the ass, in this skin for a lion, to pass. But 
he left one ear out. And a hiding, no doubt, lion had on the skin of an ass. Moral. Impostors generally forget something. Turn to page 30. The Lion and the Statue On a statue, King Lion dethroned, showing conqueror man, Lion frowned. If a lion you know had been sculptor, he'd show lion rampant, and man on the ground. Moral. The story depends on the teller. Turn to page 31. The Boaster In the house, in the market, the streets, Everywhere he was boasting his feats, Till one said with a sneer, Let us see it done here, What's so oft done with ease, one repeats. Moral, deeds not words. Finally, turn to page 32. The Vain Jackdaw Fine feathers, Jack thought, make fine fowls. I'll be envied of bats and of owls. But the peacock's proud eyes saw through his disguise, and Jack fled the assembly of fowls. Moral. Borrowed plumes are soon discovered. End of pages 25 through 32. This recording is in the public domain. Pages 33 to 40 of Baby's Own Aesop by Walter Crane Read by Dennis Sayers in Modesto, California for LibriVox, Fall 2006 Turn to page 33 The Peacock's Complaint The Peacock considered it wrong that he had not the Nightingale's song. So to Juno he went. She replied, Be content with thy having, And hold thy fool's tongue. Moral, do not quarrel with nature. Turn to page 34. The Two Crabs So awkward, so shambling a gait, Mrs. Crab did her daughter berate, Who rejoined, it is true I am backward, but you needed lessons in walking quite late. Look at home is the moral. The Two Jars Never fear, said the brass, to the clay, of two jars that the flood bore away, keep you close to my side. But the porcelain replied, I'll be smashed if beside you I stay. Moral, our friend, our enemy. Turn to page 35. Brother and Sister Twin children. The girl she was plain, the brother was handsome and vain. Let him brag of his looks, father said. Mind your books. The best beauty is bred in the brain. Moral. Handsome is as handsome does. Turn to page 36. The Fox Without a Tail Said Fox minus tail in a trap. My friends, here's a lucky mishap. Give your tails a short lease. But the foxes weren't geese, and none followed 
the fashion of trap. Yet some fashions have no better reason, is the moral. Turn to page 37. THE DOG IN THE SHADOW His image the dog did not know, or his bones in the pond's painted show. T'other dog, so he thought, has got more than he ought. So he snapped, and his dinner saw go. Moral, greed is sometimes caught by its own bait. Turn to page 37. THE CROW AND THE PITCHER How the cunning old crow got his drink when t'was low in the pitcher, just think. Don't say that he spilled it, with pebbles he filled it, till the water rose up to the brink. Moral, use your wits. THE EAGLE AND THE CROW The eagle flew off with a lamb. Then the crow thought to lift an old ram in his eaglish conceit. The wool tangled his feet, and the shepherd laid hold of the sham. Moral, beware of overrating your own powers. Turn to page 39. THE BLIND DOE A poor half-blind doe, her one eye kept shoreward, all danger to spy, as she fed by the sea. Poor innocent, she was shot from a boat passing by. Moral, watch on all sides. Turn to page 39. THE GEESE and the cranes. The geese joined the cranes in some wheat. All was well, till, disturbed at their treat, light-winged, the cranes fled. But the slow geese, well fed, couldn't rise, and were caught in retreat. Moral, beware of enterprises where the wrists are not equal. End of pages 33 through 40. This recording is in the public domain. Pages 41 through 48 of Baby's Own Aesop by Walter Crane. Read for LibriVox by Dennis Sayers in Modesto, California, Fall 2006. Turn to page 41. The Trumpeter Taken Prisoner A trumpeter prisoner made, Hoped his life would be spared When he said he'd no part in the fight. But they answered him, Right, but what of the music you made? Moral, songs may serve a cause as well as swords. Turn to page 41. Hot and Cold When, to warm his cold fingers, man blew, and again, but to cool the hot stew, simple satyr, unused to man's ways, felt confused when the same mouth blew hot, and cold, too. Moral, Aesop aimed at double dealing. Turn to page 43. Neither beast nor bird. A beast he would be, or a bird, as might suit, thought the bat, but he erred. When the battle was done, he found that no one would take him for friend at his word. 
Between two stools you may come to the ground, is the moral. Turn to page 44. The Stag in the Ox Stall Safe enough lay the poor hunted deer in the ox stall, with nothing to fear from the careless-eyed men, till the master came. Then there was no hiding place for the deer. Moral, an eye is keen in its own interest. The Deer and the Lion From the hounds the swift deer sped away to his cave, where in pastimes he lay well concealed, unaware of a lion crouched there, for a spring that soon made him his prey. Moral, fate can meet as well as follow. Turn to page 45. The Lion in Love Though the lion in love let them draw all his teeth and pare down every claw, he'd no bride for his pains, for they beat out his brains ere he set on his maiden a paw. Moral, our very means may defeat our ends. Turn to page 45. THE CAT AND VENUS Might his cat be a woman, he said. Venus changed her. The couple were wed. But a mouse in her sight metamorphosed her quite, and for bride a cat found he instead. Moral, Nature Will Out Mice in Council Against Cat sat a council of mice. Every mouse came out prompt with advice, and a bell on Cat's throat would have met a round vote had the bell-hanger not been so nice. Moral, the best policy often turns on an if. Turn to page 46. THE HEN AND THE FOX The hen roosted high on her perch, Hungry fox down below on the search, Coaxed her hard to descend. She replied, Most dear friend, I feel more secure on my perch. Moral, Beware of interested friendships. THE CAT AND THE FOX The fox said, I can play when it fits many wiles that with man make me quits. But my trick's up a tree, said the cat, safe to see clever fox, hunted out of his wits. Trust to skill rather than wit is the moral. Finally turn to page 48. THE HARE AND THE TORTOISE T'was a race between tortoise and hare. Puss was sure she'd so much time to spare, that she lay down to sleep, and let old thick shell creep to the winning post first, you may state. Moral, persistence beats impulse. THE HARES AND THE FROGS Timid hares from the trumpeting wind Fled as swift as the fear in their mind, Till in fright from their fear From the green sedges near Leaping frogs left their terror behind. Moral, our own are not the only troubles. End of pages 41 through 48. This recording is in the public domain.
Pages 49 through 56 of Baby's Own Aesop by Walter Crane. Read by Dennis Sayers in Modesto, California for LibriVox, Fall 2006. Turn to page 49. The Porcupine, Snake, and Company. Going shares with the snakes, Porcupine said, the best of the bargain is mine. Nor would he back down, When the snakes would disown the agreement His quills made them sign. Moral, hasty partnerships may be repented of. The bear and the bees. There, honey, I'll have when I please. Who cares for such small things as bees? said the bear. But the stings of these very small things left him not very much at his ease. Moral, the weakest united may be strong to avenge. Turn to page 49. The Bundle of Sticks To his sons, who fell out, Father spake, This bundle of sticks you can't break. Take them singly, with ease, You may break as you please. So, dissension, your strength will unmake. Strength is in unity. Is the moral. Turn to page 50. The Farmer's Treasure Dig deeply, my sons, through this field. There's a treasure. He died. Unrevealed the spot where t'was laid. They dug as he bade. And the treasure was found in the yield. Moral, productive labor is the only source of wealth. Turn to page 52. The Cock, the Ass, and the Lion The Ass gave a horrible bray. Cock crowed, Lion scampered away. Ass judged he was scared by the bray and so dared to pursue. Lion ate him, they say. Moral, don't take all the credit to yourself. THE ASS AND THE LAPDOG How, master, that little dog pets, thinks the ass, and with jealousy frets. And so he climbs master's knees, Hoping dog-like to please. <laughs> and a drubbing is all that he gets. Moral, asses must not expect to be fondled. Turn to page 53. Fortune and the Boy A boy... Heedless slept by the well, by Dame Fortune awaked. Truth to tell, said she, Hadst been drowned, T'would have surely been found this by Fortune, Not folly beset. Moral, Fortune is not answerable for our want of foresights. Turn to page 53. THE UNGRATEFUL WOLF To the wolf, from whose throat Dr. Crane drew the bone, his long bill made plain he expected his fee. Snarled wolf, Fiddle-dee-dee, be thankful your head is out again. Moral, some characters have no sense of obligation. The Fisherman and the Fish 
prayed the fish, as the fisherman took him, a poor little mite from his hook, let me go, I'm so small. He replied, not at all, you're the biggest, perhaps, in the brook. Moral, a little certainty is better than a great chance. Turn to page 54. THE HERDSMAN'S VOWS A kid vowed to Jove, so might he find his herd, and his herd did he see soon, of lions the prey. Then twas, Get me away, and a goat of the best take for fee. How often would we mend our wishes? is the moral. THE HORSE AND THE ASS Overladen the ass was. The horse wouldn't help, but had time for remorse when the ass lay dead there, for he then had to bear both the load of the ass and his course. MORAL GRUDGE NOT HELP Turn to page 56. THE ASS AND THE SICK LION Crafty lion, perhaps with the gout, kept his cave where, to solve any doubt, many visitors go. But the ass, he said, no, they go in, but I've seen none come out. Moral. Reason from results. End of pages 49 through 56 and End of Baby's Aesop by Walter Crane. This recording is in the public domain.